Goldman Sachs India has increased its fresher salary to 50 lakhs per annum. In this video, firstly, I'm going to explain you the breakdown of the 50 lakhs per annum and explain each and every component. Second, I'm going to reveal you exactly how much you can make after one year. Is it actually 50 lakhs as advertised or something lesser? Third, I'm going to show you the shocking difference in the net income if you resign at one year mark versus if you stay. Stay till the end because I'm going to tell you some crucial information about joining bonuses which you might not know and it can save you a lot of money. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Aditya. I've graduated from IIT Kharagpur in 2023. I was a summer intern at Goldman Sachs in 2022 post which I got a pre-placement offer and I joined full-time the next year. So very recently, Goldman Sachs India has been offering 50 lakhs package for a quantitative analyst profile in IIT campuses. And here is the breakdown. 32 lakhs base, 9 lakhs joining bonus, 9 lakhs discretionary bonus. So now let's look at the breakdown in detail. I'll also keep tally of the monthly salary so that we can aggregate it in the end. Also, usually full-time starts in mid-July. But for the sake of simplicity of calculations, let's start it at August. So the first component is the base, which is pretty straightforward. You just divide 32 by 12, you get around 2.67 lakhs monthly, which is given to you without any conditions. So let's add this to the tally. The second component is the joining bonus of 9 lakhs, which is given as a part of the first month salary. So let's add to that. But there is a catch. This joining bonus of 9 lakhs comes with a 18 months clawback which means that if you leave the firm before 18 months, then you have to reimburse the entire 9 lakhs back to the firm before leaving. This joining period clawback is a pretty common strategy used by most of the financial firms to retain talent, at least for the first 18 months. But another very, very important thing which I was not aware of is that the tax on this 9 lakhs is not reimbursed. So in other words, when you get this 9 lakhs, the tax will be deducted and then you get it. But when you're going to reimburse it, you have to reimburse the entire 9 lakhs. So the tax on the 9 lakhs will not be given back. So make sure you're aware of all these nuances in the joining bonus and clawbacks before you resign or before you accept the offer. Now coming to the final component, which is the discretionary bonus. They say it's 9 lakhs, but it's actually pro rata and given only for the first five months. So why is this done? So most of the financial firms like Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, all of them give their year end bonus in the month of Jan or Feb. And this year end bonus is for the performance of the previous calendar year, previous Jan to December. So if you join in between, you'll not be eligible for the year end bonus given in Jan or Feb. So in order to compensate for this in your offer letter, if you're joining as a fresher or if you're joining laterally as, as well, you'll be given this discretionary bonus component, which is meant to compensate the ineligibility of the year end bonus. So that's why it's given only for the first five months and then it stops. So now let's add this to the tally. Finally, when you add everything together for the first month, you get around 12.42 lakhs from September till December for four months, you'll get around 3.42 lakhs. And finally, for the last seven months, you'll get around 2.67 lakhs. All these are pre-tax numbers. So finally, pre-tax, you'll be getting around 44.75 lakhs. So post-tax, this comes to around 32.44 lakhs. But wait, this number is assuming that you don't resign before the clawback period. So now let's assume that you work for exactly one year, including notice period. So you'll have to reimburse the nine lakhs just to note you'll still be taxed at a tax bracket of 44.75 lakhs. So your post tax would be 32.44 lakhs. And out of this, you'll give the 9 lakhs. So you'll be left with 23.44 lakhs post tax. So now if you convert this 23.44 lakhs to pre-tax, it will come around 31 lakhs, which is still a great salary for a fresher. But it's still way lesser than what you thought you would get which is 50 lakhs. So this is the reality of 50 lakhs package at Goldman Sachs. So this is not in particular for Goldman Sachs, but in also for all the companies which provide joining bonus as a part of their package. So make sure you read all the terms and conditions and the clawbacks very carefully before resigning or before even accepting the offer. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new and stay tuned for more such insightful videos. Bye bye.